How many times have you run the Nightfall, the most difficult strike in the game, only to receive 5 strange coins at the end, a reward that is less than the one that's given for an easier heroic strike? Or how many times have you just gotten 10 ascendant shards when you didn't even need them? I understand that the very nature of a random loot system guarantees that players will sometimes receive things they don't want, but in Destiny, this seems to be the rule not the exception, and sadly Bungie hasn't done much to fix this issue. So first let's talk about those Nightfall rewards. When you complete the Nightfall, you can possibly get an exotic armor piece or weapon, a legendary weapon, ascendant materials, or strange coins. And the number of those ascendant materials and coins is random as well. One person can roll 6 strange coins and the other 10, which I find to be absurd and I can't imagine how someone could think that that was a good idea. Like really? You didn't think that that would piss people off? First of all, it should be a set amount. I think 12 is fair since the highest level weekly heroic gives 9. Same goes for materials. And while we're on the topic, how about letting radiant materials drop from the nightfall? I'm sure a lot of people would be happy about getting some radiant shards, but the problem is not everyone would be happy with that. For example, level 32s wouldn't care about getting radiant shards, which is why I think that materials and coins should be secondary rewards for the nightfall. I think that for beating some of the hardest content in the game, you should be rewarded a little bit better than that. So you know how at the end of the nightfall, you have those two spinny boxes on the reward screen? Yeah, well both of those boxes should contain rewards. The first box will have a guaranteed legendary or exotic, and the second box can have the materials or coins. Now the next problem is, what if you get a legendary or exotic item that you don't want? Well there's a few ways of handling this. I know that Bungie doesn't want player trading in the game, and I don't want to go into depth on it, but I think it deserves a mention here. But other than that, there's a few ways we can handle this problem. The first is a reforging system similar to what is done with the iron banner weapons. For some currency, you can reroll the perks on a gun because sometimes you get a decent gun with shitty perks, but if that gun had the right perks, it'd be awesome. The currency used here could be the commendation currency since that's already another dead currency in the game, and most players have a decent amount laying around. I wouldn't want the currency to be motes of light though since that's already used for a few other things. Hell, it'd be nice to use Glimmer because when I started playing Destiny, I thought that Glimmer would be the main currency in the game, but as I played, I found out that it's just really a side currency, only good for upgrading exotics and buying heavy ammo synthesis. And while they're at it, why not increase the glimmer cap? 25,000 is pretty low once you start upgrading exotics and buying heavy ammo. Now what about exotics that you don't want? I say the answer to this is a good crafting system. Because at the moment, exotic shards don't feel as cool as they should. So maybe by breaking down an exotic or two and buying schematics for an exotic piece that you actually want, you can pay a craftsman to build your desired armor or the gunsmith could build you the weapon. And I say the gunsmith because he needs to be more important. I mean for fuck's sake, we're in a damn loot and shoot game and the gunsmith is useless aside from selling blue fusion rifles and heavy ammo synthesis. You know sometimes I go to the gunsmith and check out what weapons he's got and I'll buy some to use in the crucible just so I feel like he's somewhat useful in the game. Anyways, I think the reforging system and the crafting system would go a long way in fixing the rewards from other parts of the game as well because now you can never get a useless weapon because you can turn it into a beast and you can scrap those exotics you don't want and make ones you do. So now, if you get No Land Beyond from the Nightfall, you don't have to cry yourself to sleep. Instead, you can turn that No Land Beyond into a Gallerhorn or an Icebreaker or whatever you want. So now, no matter what exotic drops, whether it's something you already have or something you don't want, you can make use of it and get something that you actually do want. Now, the raids in Destiny are supposed to be the hardest content you could possibly do. Yet you may run a raid taking you a considerably large amount of time and get nothing but materials and a class item. To me, that's pretty fucking insane. The raid should be the most rewarding content in the game. I think that for armor, maybe we should be able to reforge them and get the stats on them that we want. So let's say you get a gauntlet with strength, but you want intellect or discipline, you should be able to change that for a high price. And the way weapons are dropped needs to be changed because you can do the raid numerous times and not get the weapon you want from Crota. Just look at how long it took Enraged Cinema to get his black hammer. That's totally fucking ridiculous. Repeat weapons should have an extremely low chance of dropping or no chance at all until all the weapons have been acquired. And when I beat your Ute, I want something more than just a fucking class item and two materials. So finally, we can talk about the Crucible. The Crucible reward system is totally fucked and needs to be fixed ASAP. It's insane how bad the Crucible rewards are compared to the Vanguard Rock. Not to mention, we've all seen those screenshots and videos of players doing really bad in Crucible and getting exotics and legendaries while their teammates don't get shit. 
and I understand why they put the random loot system in here so that players that don't do so well still have a chance at getting good gear and I'm fine with that but the players that do well should have a higher chance of rolling good rewards. They could do this by taking into consideration your ranking in the scoreboard in that match or your overall score. So here's how I do it. I'd guarantee everyone an engram. Blues for everyone 20 and up. Greens for everyone below. And the higher your score or placing, the higher your chance to have legendaries or exotics drop. And the team that wins should get two guaranteed rewards and the losing team gets one to incentivize the win a little bit more. And finally, I'd increase the amount of marks you get per match because right now it's just pathetic how much they give you. Two for a loss and three for a win is way too little for a crucible match. I say double it. Four for a loss and six for a win so that the crucible doesn't feel like such an endless grind to max your marks for the week. And this incentivizes the win even more as well since now you'll be able to get two extra marks for winning a match instead of just one. I think if Bungie fixed the reward system in this game, it would be so much more enjoyable and less of a grind to get the stuff that you want. Because nothing diminishes the fun that you have in a raid or a nightfall or a crucible match more than getting absolutely nothing for it. Getting nothing but materials is unacceptable for beating Crota on any difficulty. And getting repeat weapons is just a slap in the face because the game knows you have gotten it before. Well that's all I got for this video. If you did enjoy the video and agreed with what I said, be sure to drop a like, it really helps out a lot. And if you're not feeling too shy, go ahead and drop a comment below and let me know what you think about the Destiny reward system and how it can be fixed. And of course, subscribe for more content like this in the future. That's it for me, Overman out.